In this video, we are going to talk about the general guideline to overall well-being. Before going in depth, we should understand that healthy eating is not about strict dietary limitations, staying unrealistically thin, or depriving yourself of the food you love. Rather, it's about feeling awesome, improving your health, stabilizing your mood, and having more energy. Do you ever feel overwhelmed by all of the conflicting diet and nutrition advice out there? Well, you're not alone. It seems that for every expert who tells you a certain food is good for you, you'll find another saying exactly the opposite. Quite often, convenient foods are laced with too much sugar, salt, and other ingredients, which are not considered healthy. These ingredients can often be hidden, so it's important, as a part of your education, to learn to read food labels while at the grocery. Learn what ingredients to avoid, as major components are usually listed first in the food labels. Being educated on what is contained within various types of food will help you weed out much of the unhealthy food you may otherwise end up eating. Permanently improving your eating habits requires a thoughtful approach in which you reflect, replace, and reinforce. By following these simple approaches, you can cut through the confusion and learn how to create a varied, healthy, and tasty diet that's good for your mind and your body. Reflect on all of your specific eating habits, both good and bad, and your common triggers for unhealthy eating. Replace your unhealthy eating habits with healthier ones. Reinforce your new, healthier eating habits. You should create a list of your eating habits. The simplest way to track what you eat and drink is by setting up your diary in a notebook or downloading a food journal app on your phone. This will help you uncover your eating habits. Keep track of everything that goes into your mouth, including all snacks, drinks, meals, and even nibbles of food that you eat while you cook. Don't forget to track your total water intake as well. Tracking how much water you drink will give you insight into whether or not you need to consume more water to help you stay hydrated. After you've kept your journal for a few days, star or highlight areas where you may think you can make changes. For example, you might notice that you don't drink enough water, or you typically skip breakfast. These are great areas where you can make healthy changes. Highlight the habits. Highlight the habits on your list that may be leading you to overeat. Common eating habits that can lead to weight gain are You eat when you're not hungry. You ignore nutrition advice. You're always cleaning your plate. You eat too fast. You are always eating dessert. Going wild on the weekends. You hang out with unhealthy pals. You habitually use food as therapy. You skip meals or perhaps just breakfast. Awareness is always the first step to change. So make sure you've identified all of the triggers that cause you to engage in those habits. Identify a few that you'd like to work on improving first. Habitual behaviors are driven by cravings for rewards or avoidance of negative consequences. Don't forget to pat yourself on the back for the things you're doing right. It's important to celebrate, which is just as true in life as it is with habits. We want to continue to do things that make us feel good. And because an action needs to be repeated for it to become a habit, it's especially important that you reward yourself each time that you practice your new habit. For example, if you've chosen to have salad instead of a burger as your dinner, celebrate your progress with a reward. It's time to celebrate. Always remember to reward yourself as you make simple changes that in the end will result in achieving your overall goal. Create a list of cues by reviewing your food diary to become more aware of when and where you're triggered to eat for reasons other than hunger. Note how you're typically feeling at those times. Often, a particular emotional state or an environmental cue is what encourages eating for non-hunger reasons. The common triggers for eating when you're not hungry include suffering from the clean plate syndrome, the clock says so, before or after a stressful meeting or a situation at work, sitting at home while watching television, opening up the cabinet and seeing your favorite snack, coming home after work and having no idea what's for dinner, you can't say no to food pushers, and feeling bored or tired and thinking that food might offer a pick-me-up. Now let's talk about a four-step eating habit hack. Number one, 
mark the cues on your list that you encounter on a daily basis or a weekly basis. 2. Now ask yourself these questions for each cue you've marked. 3. Replace unhealthy eating habits with new, healthier ones. 4. Finally, reinforce your new eating habits. Mark the cues on your list that you encountered on a daily or weekly basis. For example, attending a birthday party may be a trigger for you to have a cheat day to overeat, so simply have that piece of cake that doesn't fit into your daily food intake goals. Thus, you may want to attend as many birthday parties as possible as a cue for you to overeat. Some cues may be absurd, as not going to the gym as a cue to binge. But don't fret upon it. Simply mark them down for now. Now ask yourself these questions for each cue that you've marked. Obviously, your answer will be no, and you felt like a pig after you binge. Well, your answer may vary. Just write them down to have clarity and create the pain and disgust so you know you must change. So you know that you must change. Ask yourself, how can I avoid this cue or situation? After noticing the cues and the pain your non-empowering actions brought upon you, find a way to avoid that situation. This option works best for cues that don't involve another party. For example, you choose a different route to work instead of your usual route to avoid that McDonald's along the way. Or you drink lots of water when you realize that you're in binge mode. Or change your work desk that was once facing the vending machine or the coffee machine. You may also choose another place to study instead of your home kitchen. But there are just some events you can't avoid, like birthday parties of someone important or a staff meeting. So what do you do? Ask yourself this question. For things that I cannot avoid, what can I do differently to eat healthier? The key here is to plan ahead, and when you ask this question beforehand, your brain will naturally find better alternatives to make sure that you stick to your fitness goals. Maybe it's bringing healthy snacks to work, especially when there are long hours ahead. Track your food and make sure it fits your daily macronutrients, and don't overeat. Being food conscious in a party is a good way to control yourself. Eat lots of veggies before attending a party. Being filled before the party is a good way not to binge. Replace unhealthy eating habits with newer, healthier ones. Now that you've asked yourself the above questions and have a clear sense of awareness, you simply have to take action to replace your old eating patterns. Perhaps you overeat because you're eating too fast. Eat slowly. Perhaps you overeat because of hunger, but due to stress, anxiety, anger, or frustrations. Replace it with non-eating activities, like going for a jog, visiting a friend, read an uplifting book, or talk to your family. You'll definitely feel better, and you'll totally forget about your hunger. The key to lasting change is to plan ahead. So write down your daily, weekly, and monthly fitness goals, what your food choices are, your body weight goals, and stick to it. Finally, reinforce your new eating habits. Rome is not built in a day, and neither is your body and your habits. You need to practice your new eating habit day by day, week by week, to rewire your old eating pattern to a new one. But this is the hardest part, because it requires patience. Stick with it. Believe that it's all worth it in the end. Special tips to make this work include having a mastermind group to keep each other accountable, join a community, a challenge group, and update your close friends and family about your goals. Picture yourself eating healthy greens and having those washboard abs. Vibrant, happy, and full of energy. One of the best ways to reinforce these habits and make them ingrained into your subconscious mind is to write out a list of 100 reasons why you want to be fit or eat healthily. Having 100 reasons why is going to pull you towards your goal creating a gravity that guarantees your success, as many burnt out after pushing too hard for far too long. Thus, having 100 reasons creates that gravity to pull you and your fitness goals almost effortless and your fitness goals almost effortlessly. So there you have it. Four step eating habit hacks and all the crucial information that you'll ever need to start eating healthy and live a long, strong, fruitful, and fulfilling life.